All right, well, I said I bought another Killer Instinct cabinet just showed up today, as you can see. Um, it's in very nice shape. It had a World Class Bowling Deluxe Kit in it. Um, the PCB is right here with the trackball, which I've already removed from the cabinet and um, the control panel. The PCB works, which is good. Um, it's actually a really fun game. I used to have this in a uh, MK cabinet. Um, as you can see, the control panel is pretty much shot. Um, I hate when the operators do this, but when they put a bowling game in here, there's not really much more they can do. So the control panel will need to be completely replaced. Um, overall, it's very dirty, um, obviously, because it was in shipping. The speaker grill came off. It's actually right there on the floor. Um, I'm not sure if that just in shipping, they banged it around too much, but it's only bratted in here, um, up here, so I can fix that, it's no big deal. Um, but overall, like I said, pretty nice shape. It's got all the original wiring harnesses. Um, some of the wires have been cut um, here, as you can see, which I think I have a player one harness anyways. The rest of them are just kind of laying down here. I can fix all that, it's no big deal. Um, but as you can see, it's an original Killer Instinct panel, the six buttons, the player one, player two start. Um, but we're missing two buttons here and the controller um, mounting right here. You can see about a quarter of the hole. So this will need to be replaced, unfortunately. Um, I can tell that it has the metal plate, which really sucks because I like those. Um, but XL Arcade sells those. Here's the other side. There's a little bit of a glare um, coming in from the garage window here. I'll try to get rid of that by standing in front of it. But um, you can see the side art on this side is very, very nice. Tiny, tiny bit of sun fade. Kind of, um, you can see on spinals um, shield there and a little bit on the killer instinct on the bottom of the blue but I mean overall really nice cabinets in really nice shape um, I don't see any real terrible damage um, there's a little bit of this going on in the corner this is typical of all these games now um, so I can fix this in the team molding which obviously will be replaced um, kind of like the one I did here uh, with the water damage um, I'll go ahead and kind of wood putty that up um, wood glue it and kind of fix it up it's missing the serial number decal here. That's no problem, I can reprint that. Inside of the cabinet looks to be all original, um, original wire harnesses. This is that, um, I can't think of what the name of these things are, but they put those on there for the hard drives to kind of protect them from the EM. I think it's an EM filter or something like that. Looks to be an original power supply. Um, your monitor pot board, which comes off of the chassis. Um, looks to be original Wells Gardner. Um, there's a manual book in there. I haven't looked in there um, yet, but it seems to be pretty full, so that's kind of cool. Um, original, I don't know what's going on. This obviously is an original. As you can see, this doesn't match up. So um, this would have a different Molex connector on it um, going up to the monitor. So maybe this monitor is not original. Uh, regardless, it's a 25-inch monitor, which are impossible to find now. So I'll bring it to my guy, have him fix it. Um, isolation transformer looks good. It's just kind of dusty and dirty in here. There's always some goodies left in here that... Um, the operators kind of leave in here, but all original wiring harnesses, which is important uh, to me at least, because it makes it my job easier to restore these. Um, and then this side over here, just really nice. I'm pretty happy with it. So I haven't really decided which one I'm going to keep, which one I'm going to sell. I mean, that one over there, I know that one works. That's got a 27 inch monitor in it. Um, that one looks really good. You can see the MK3 bezel card kind of hanging off there. That's why it's over there. I'm waiting for the bezel for that game there. Um, but if you look at them sort of next to each other, they look pretty damn good. So I'll kind of tear into this today and see what we got going on. Control panel obviously needs to be replaced. I need a PCB. I don't have one for this game. They're quite expensive now. Sometimes they go for like 600 bucks. I don't know why people pay that much, but if you wait, you can get it between three and $400. Um, but just very dirty. The glass needs to come off, obviously. Um, I'll test the monitor and see what's going on. And We'll go from there, but um, it also has this hockey puck lock, which I've never gotten off before. Um, I can see there's a bolt down here um, that goes through the security door there for the coin box, um, but I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that off. I've never really dealt with these. The drill, if I was to drill it, is on the bottom too, so I'll have to put this thing on its back and just kinda figure out what I'm gonna do. Front panel here, um, I'm hoping this is gonna strip nice. I can see kind of a little bit of blue right there coming through. So I'll do my citrus strip on that and just kind of take it easy and see how that comes. But there's no damage. It looks pretty nicely done. You can see a little run in the paint here. Um, usually this comes off pretty good. Somebody drilled a bolt through the um, coin slot. I'm not really sure. I've never seen that before. Um, it has a dollar bill acceptor, but it's kind of hanging here. <laughs> not really sure what happened there, but I'll figure out what's going on with that. Um, 
Everything else seems intact. You know, the menu tests, credit, volume up and down is all here. All original wiring harness, um, but you can see it's kind of a rat's nest in here. But that's not a problem. I can usually fix that, no problem. Um, I can see in there a cash box down there. And I don't think I can get my hand through there. Let's try it to see if I can get that bolt off. Uh, I don't think so. I'll have to see if I can do that. But overall, not bad. Let's close this down so I can give you the whole perspective of the game. So this needs a little TLC, a little bit of cleanup. Um, obviously needs some repairs, new jo buttons, joysticks, control panel. Um, but overall, looks pretty good. And I have a working world-class bowling deluxe PCB and working trackball and harness and marquee. So another PCB for the collection. This, like I said, is actually a pretty fun game. So I'm gonna actually keep it um, and figure out a way to use it. I can always use it on the JAMA station. Just kind of put the trackball here, but um, pretty good for what I paid for this game. I'm pretty happy with it. So look for a couple updates on this. This will be part one.